Hello everyone, Dr. B here. I just want to make sure that you're able to find everything in module one. So we'll start this week with the introduction to course materials, but also when you go to the modules, in addition to seeing that content, if you haven't looked at it, please go through all of that. And then you'll see module one. It's been my experience as a participant in online learning, as well as a facilitator, that if we put too many modules out there, the, there's a chance that you will get too far ahead and not stay current with the current content. And so to have rich discussion and keep folks focused and ready to move on together, we'll probably only have a couple of modules visible at a time. Again, feedback from you may learn that we would like to add more, but for now, let's give that a shot and see how that works. So each module will be formatted the same. You'll have the overview, lecture, readings, discussion, assignment, and the review and reflect. Each week, the overview will change slightly based on the content, but you should see some introduction content, the learning objectives we're seeking to meet, and then a reminder of what you need to do. There will always be a link to the question and answer discussion forum that is just about things in general, general questions you might have about the course. And then the lecture, I'm going to try to keep those short and to the point and not be too rambling. The, the welcome post was a little slow and rambling but uh, I will try to go in and maybe even correct that before some of you see it. But there'll be the lecture that I will provide as well as other supporting videos, TED Talks, or other things that I might find useful. I may not have one for me particularly that week. It may just be something else. And then the readings. Initially, the first five modules will be articles that I've picked. And then uh, module six will start into the textbook. And then you will click on that link, in this case, how to introduce yourself. Those should be short, but informative. And then the discussion post this week should be pretty straightforward for you. It's about you. Why did you take this class? What are some things about you that we might find interesting or we may find that we align with? So you will respond to those questions. And then in other modules, it'll ask, you know, what else stood out to you in addition to questions that may be asked? You have the deadline for your initial post as well as responding to at least two classmates, two responses. For this to be a, a rich learning environment, the goal is that you keep that going. Don't just post post a couple and, and, and ditch it, right? So come back, be involved, and be active, and you'll have some great learning opportunity. After you do the discussion post, you'll see the assignment this week, brief introduction, the assignment goal. There's an article to read from Simon Sinek, a video by Simon Sinek talking about setting up your why, and then one I created that just kind of walks you through the format that we're looking for and explains the assignment. Once you've created this one, make sure you get it submitted appropriately. If you have any questions, concerns, or issues, please let me know. For this one, there won't be a detailed rubric. I just want to see that you complete it, really, uh, that you create your why statement. You create a video similar to the one you'll see by Simon Sinek where you just turn it on and just share with us, you know, what you've learned about yourself and what, what you feel like your purpose is, and then make sure it's uploaded. There's no uh, time expectation, whatever it needs to be. So don't overthink it. Just get something up there. This will not be critically graded based on presentation skills and video quality. I just want you to get it and get it in there. So that's the goal this week. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Look forward to learning more about you as we grow and learn together.